All right, up next, we head to Donald Larson Park now. Bora and Boise battling in what I might label the game of the year with the Brave trailing 15 to 7 in the fourth. That's Trevor Schoolfield that uh, Schoolfield that lobs one into the end zone. It's deflected, but Cooper Smith catches it. They go for two to try to tie the game, and it's that duo again that is successful. So now we're knotted at 15 all late in the fourth quarter. With three minutes left in regulation, here comes Devin Nelson high stepping into the end zone. A little prime time, looking like he scores the game winning touchdown, but. It wasn't enough. The Lions would have a chance leading 22-15 late in the fourth quarter to close it out. On fourth and 15, it looks like they come up with a game-clinching interception. But hold on. Roughing the passer is called, and the Brave have new life. So with 106 left in regulation, that's when Schoolfield finds Eli Rich in the end zone. This tied the game up at 22, and we get to go to overtime. Some extra football, if you will. Boise got the football first, and they would score first. Like on the very, very first play of overtime, Schoolfield goes up top to a six foot five junior wide receiver, Jordan McDonald. The Brave lead for the first time last night 29 22 here come the lions roaring right back nelson powers his way around the left edge in for six that brought Bora to within one they looked like they were going to kick the pat but they call a timeout and decide to go for the win they put it back in nelson's hands but too much penetration boise was ready for it the brave win the city championship 29 28 the final in overtime Mike Altieri continues to work his magic. An unbelievable run for Boise continues. They are now 6-1 and one on the season with every opportunity to close it out at 7-1 and one next week uh, against CUNA. That's going to be that, – what a fun story that those guys have been this season. I was so impressed with uh, Boise's resiliency last night. Uh, Bora, they played a great game. Um, they should have and could have closed it out, but they just – they left the door open just a little bit, and every time they would, Boise would take advantage of it. I know there were some controversial calls late in that game. If you're a Bora fan, you certainly believe that. But kind of those roughing the passer calls, if you're going to call it in the first quarter, you got to call it on fourth and 15 with 30 seconds to go or whatever in the fourth quarter. And um, a, a tip of the cap to Boise, like I said, uh, they were able to find a way to win that game. It was, it was an incredible win. They never led in regulation. They never let in regulation, but somehow they get it done. And um, I mean, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, they got, I mean, they're, they're basically in the playoffs and they should get a good seed and we'll see what the Brave can do now. Yeah, and when you take a look at Bohr, I mean, that's going to set up a very pivotal final two games of the regular season mm -hmm. for the Lions. You know, they just barely missed playoffs yeah. last season. So, I mean, they've been ready for this moment, how they can respond and Try to make that final yeah. push. We'll see that next week. Bora would have clinched a spot in the postseason with the win yesterday. Oh, man, that is tough. Yeah, so now they got to find a way to, to get one here in the final two weeks in order to get back to the postseason. And I said basically Boise's in. Boise's in the, in the postseason. It's not, it's not basically. Yeah. They've, they've defined. Six and one will do it. Yeah, right? they, they, they've defined that. So uh, good on them. Okay.